Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this one off kind of random, but this week I am going on a camping trip with my mom. She recently bought a, it's a mini van, but she converted it to be a camper. So I'm excited. This is my first time in it. So anyways, we're going through Wyoming and up to Montana, seeing my family, and then we'll come back down. So it'll be like a nice, good week. But we got the goods. I stopped at, this is my, you see it? Stopped at Taco John's when you're in Wyoming. I think there are other places. We had one in Fort Collins, but when you're in Wyoming, you have to stop at Taco John's. It's better than Taco Bell because it has potatoes. Mmm, so good. I just got a quesadilla and a bean burrito because there's not much for someone who doesn't eat meat, I will say. Let's try it out. I also got a side of cheese for my potatoes. Oh, big burritos. Wow. Mm. Yummy. Tastes like beans. <laughs> anyway, I really just like the potatoes. So that's why we always go here and it's kind of like tradition now. I think I might go in and get like a fountain diet coke. That sounds good. We're about like two, two and a half hours from where we're staying, so I'll talk to y'all when we get there. Y'all, we just found a mouse. Moose is my favorite. Or is my mom's favorite animal I meant to say. Look at it. So cute. Are you happy, mom? Yes! Can I get a bigger? Here, I'll take some on mine. So cool. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Bye, Bullwinkle! Look at his look at his ears. I know, it's Bye, so bud. cute. Oh my gosh, yeah. Those are literally moose. Mom. Wow. That's crazy. They're just that many. We've never encountered this one before. Look at him. Oh, he's looking at us. Oh, Hi, there you go. I love you. <laughs> So pretty. We're gonna have to walk all these years. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, y'all, look at that bridge. I don't know about that. Wow. This is Shell Falls. I don't even know if you can hear me. The water is so loud. It's so pretty though. The amount of moose we have seen is unreal. Yeah, they brought he brought their friends. night one in the books y'all no it was so good we're about to take off and 
now head to Montana and tonight we'll be staying at my aunt uncle's house so it's not camping but I gotta say I'm impressed with the minivan camper it was like you do have to move stuff around instead of like in a trailer or RV or even like sprinter vans I feel like they make them so you don't really need to move anything but it's way better than tent camping I must say the only thing is it was really rainy last night it was really rainy last night and cold so I'm happy that the Sun is out oh my mom wants to take a picture he <laughs> sun is finally shining y'all so getting ready to head down to the barn and just do barn things <laughs> yesterday on the drive just for a bathroom break we ended up stopping at city brew which it's basically like starbucks up here like it's very corporate and there's so many of them but their seasonal drink is like a pistachio white mocha is what it's called it was so good like i want another one today but we probably won't go into town to get one well we're gonna go to a different town <laughs> and go have dinner at my cousin's house new house she got it a little while ago and i can't wait to see it Just left my family's house. I'll put you up here. And we're headed to oh, we're headed to Flathead Lake and we're so excited. So that is like right below Glacier National Park. And we've been wanting to go to Glacier, but you have to reserve like it just the reservations weren't in our favor. So we're gonna go to Flathead Lake. It's still very pretty and it's north of like northern montana and we we're thinking like we've never really been outside of southern montana because we just go but we're just mostly down in the southern part bozeman and gardner livingston like that area so we're excited to see we get to see all kinds of things we get to go through helena missoula butte all like we hear about but we've never seen as many times as we've been here so we're excited and for breakfast we're getting gas now but we're gonna stop at this place called wheat montana and my my family recommended it and it's supposed to be like a good little bakery they have like huge cinnamon rolls and stuff so we're gonna stop there i can't wait we went to sportsman's warehouse in town though to get this table and i finally bought a carhartt beanie let's see it look oh it's cute isn't this color cute i love it but yeah i'm excited it's gonna be so pretty and i'm excited to eat these cinnamon rolls they told us like two days ago i've been thinking about them ever since got the goods these cinnamon rolls are huge my mom ate hers inside because i also got an egg and cheese bagel and some bagels for camping but i got the caramel and she got the maple bacon and she said it was really good i'm excited to try mine while we drive and i got a almond milk vanilla latte and it's so good wheat montana you should definitely find one whenever you come to montana mm. Alright, so let's keep going. We are walking to the lake. What? This one's big. That one's definitely bigger. Oh, oh there's more water. We love water. So
gonna show you inside the van really quick. Just really quick. Um, and how we sleep. It's so nice. I feel like you've seen like the back end where we could get, we just have like a built in shelf situation, shelving unit for um, the stove and like food storage. And then right next to is where we put like the cooler and um, the bin of dry food. But in here where we sleep, we have like my bed and then my mom's bed and the other person's bed. And then this shelf we put up and we put, we put like things we need immediately. We have like our pajamas or clothes for the next day or like I have like my lotion in there, deodorant, things that are like easy access. So those are things, our toiletries bag and then of course all the windows you could see like we are taking them down. And usually we open these but supposedly we're in bear country so... We kept them closed, that's why there's condensation, but we have insulated window covers, and then it's so nice. We have, like, all these cup holders. It's, like, my water, anything to fit there. There's, like, way more room in here than you think. I'll show you, like, how we store our clothes. I kind of mentioned it earlier, but basically, like, three flat bins, and then that's kind of, for me, that's, like, the platform on my bed. Yeah, but they also slide under my mom's built-in bed. She has, like, an actual wooden frame platform type of situation, so, but that's where all of our storage is also at, is under the bed, so this is, like, raised a little bit, and then you can stuff things under, and then, of course, like, we put stuff in the front seat when we're sleeping, like, we put our folding chairs, I have, like, my duffel bag with things that I don't need right away, and she has, like, a bin of things, just things, but yeah, it's so nice, and there's a lot more room. I think, like, a minivan is good if you still don't mind, like, climbing in, but a sprinter van, I feel like, has the same exact lengthwise. It's just taller, so you can, like, store more up high and obviously, like, stand up. But it's nice. I really like it. And I didn't even, like, I wore this, y'all. I have not only worn a t-shirt camping, like, probably my entire life. So it stays really warm, and that's nice. It's just nice, like, sleeping inside. Something that's hard to close when you think about like animals and honestly humans. I feel like I'm more scared of humans than animals, but yeah, we're gonna go up to Kalispell today and probably like drive around the whole lake and stop at a few places. So I'm excited. This is Big Fork, Montana Main Street, or what do they call it downtown? They call this downtown, it's so cute. picked up some baggage we're helping my brother move so we're, we just stopped in Bozeman which is pretty much like we're pretty much back to my uncle's house and yeah so 
that's what I'll be doing for the next little little while helping us figure this situation out but I got this little crew neck yesterday in Big Fork and it's just like the plain Montana which is what I was looking for and I found it I thought it would be a little bit more like you know like the long letters that's what I was envisioning but I like this one too and it's really soft so yeah I'm already missing the lake y'all I love Flathead Lake everyone should go there it was like so nice and just so chill like you know when you've gone to or if you've gone to places I especially find this when it's supposed to be like a national park or like something with nature is that a lot of times it's so touristy that it like takes away from it in Flathead Lake like it was pretty low-key which was so nice oh a boat tour I can't forget to shot them out because it was so fun and it was so good i learned a lot of information that's one thing about flathead lake being low-key is we kept looking for a place to like learn more like a visitor center or anything like that and there's not really that so it was good to take the boat tour and it's called far west boat cruise and it's in lakeside montana is where the dock is and it was super nice. It was a two hour ride and they take you out and they tell you about every little part of the lake and just a lot of lake stories and facts, which was really good. So I highly recommend them and also put their website down below if you are interested. I got the regular iced cinnamon rolls, like a cream cheese icing from Wheat Montana and it was so much better than the caramel. So I recommend to just go classic and get the cream cheese classic one. It was so good. My coffee was good. We stopped somewhere yesterday and it was not good. So I had to like redeem the coffee from yesterday and had to stop where I knew it'd be good. So classic cinnamon roll for the win today. Mm -hmm.